and it ain't ever going to stop, you can tell. <laughs> They're running around so fast they had to uh, nail all the tables down to the ground. <laughs> That's no lie. Uh, and that was because they moved so fast, but what also had a good, a good uh, collateral damage is that it also made it so that all the girls from San Angelo would go to Blaine's and dance on the tables. And that's fun for the performer. It's not fun for the girl, for the guys that are with the girls because they can't see shit, but I can see everything. <laughs> that's good. First time I met Blaine, he came up to me, talk like this. He goes, hey, Jack, you ever blow bubbles as a kid? I said, yeah. He goes, he's back in town. He wants your number. <laughs> It is pretty badass. And uh, turns out that San Angelo is a straight shot down to Mexico. When I first started going there, it was before the cartels took over south of Texas. And uh, so all the guys that would come into Blaine's after 10 o'clock at night, they'd all carry, uh, I thought it was Christmas all day long there, because uh, they would all carry a package wrapped in tinfoil and they'd give it to Blaine in the back of the club. Every, every one of them was a block, just kind of like a shoebox. And they'd go here and they'd go, yeah, well, I'll open it later. It was Jack, whatever you need. So come back to the office and uh, I'd go back to the office and everybody on the staff would be back there. No, the bartender would be serving drinks, but everybody would be in the back because Blaine set up one of those uh, cameras in the girls' bathroom. They thought that was the funniest thing in the fucking world. I'm like, shit, man, I hope that doesn't get out while I'm here. <laughs> so one time, uh, right across the street from Blaine's pub is uh, the, the Concho River Amphitheater where he would have Blaine's picnic. And, uh, one time he had Merle Haggard set to play there. And it turns out in Merle's contract, there's a clause in there that says if it rains within 24 hours of the show, he does not have to play. No questions asked. Uh, it's an outdoor stage. So I rolled in there about 10 a.m. and it hit rain. I knew it was raining because I, I came through it on the way to the, to the gig. And uh, it had rained at about 6 a.m. And when I got there at 10, uh, it was sunshine. It's going to be a beautiful day for the picnic. And word came over that Merle Haggard had canceled the show. And Blaine was like, ah, oh, come on, man, oh. nope, he's canceled the show. <laughs> and uh, all, of, all of Blaine and his posse, his crew, and they were his his crew. Like, it's, I don't know a lot of people like to say, hey, this is my posse, but no, these guys were his posse. Uh, after a couple times there, I got to know a few of them, and I'd say, yeah, man, I just, I got to San Angelo after I uh, got off of vacation. I go, oh, that's cool, man, yeah, that's great, you go on vacation like that? Well, I was there for three years. So, oh, shit, wow. <laughs> Must have run into a lot of money. Said, no, not exactly. I said, well, shoot, where'd you go? Said, Huntsville. <laughs> oh, I, did, I grew up about 30 miles south of Huntsville. I didn't know that was such a destination. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Blaine and his posse were pretty pissed off. They'd been up smoking brisket. <laughs> Anything else they could find. Blaine had all these red marks all over his face. I was like, hadn't slept in a while. I'm like, ah, shit, who needs sleep? <laughs> oh, I don't know. He used to say, if I ever shit something hard again, I'm gonna bronze it. <laughs> <laughs> he was full of all that. Well, uh, anyway, he asked, he asked Merle Haggard's road manager, he said, uh, well, can, can Merle just come over and uh, play a set at the club just 30 minutes or so? I go, nope. All right. Well, any Merle come over and just sit at the bar for a half hour, sign a few autographs and have a few beers? And nope. So you can tell he's getting pissed. He goes, well, how about if he just comes over to a fucking club and walks around and waves through the goddamn window? I said, nope. So he looked at me and said, hey, Jack, you gonna come play tonight? I said, yes. All right, we'll be there. You gonna give me a Christmas present, Blaine? And uh, I got over there about 10 o'clock that night. Word came over right about the time I got there that uh, Merle Haggard and the Strangers had set up at the Holiday Inn Lounge and they were playing a full set. And Blaine and his posse were fucking fit to be tied. So before anything really bad started happening, I said, hey Blaine, I'm gonna go on. He was like, all right. So I got through the first half of this first song. I think we were playing Dim Lights, Thick Smoke, and Loud Loud Music. And here comes Blaine with a tray full of tequila shots. And he 
stumbles up to the stage, and the stage at Blaine's is about half the size of this stage right here, and we got a five-piece band, and it's pretty crowded. And he goes, hey! Knocks me out of, out of the microphone and goes, shut it down! Shut this down! There's like 500 people in there, and a 300 seat place. Because I got two things to say. One, these boys right here, they're better than chocolate cake. <laughs> and everybody's like, well, yeah, chocolate cake! Like they're all screaming, tits are flying. I'm like, hell yeah, they like chocolate. Yeah. It was number two, fuck Merle Haggard. <laughs> and the roof is fucking flying off the joint. And we all took the shots, even my sober drummer Pete. And hell yeah! And, uh, Second song rolls around about halfway through the second song. Here comes Blaine with a tray full of tequila shots. <laughs> he stumbles up the stairs and stays about half the size of this. Blah, 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 blah. He says, I should have got away. Hey, shut it down. I got two things to say. These boys right here, they're better than chocolate cake. Everyone, like they've never heard it before, goes, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Number two, fuck Merle goes crazy. I played 17 songs that night. <laughs> Had 17 shots of tequila. <laughs> Blaine made the same speech 17 times and he never realized he said it the first time. <laughs> I didn't even do nothing, but man, every time I hang out with Todd, I just get dry mouth. <laughs> Blaine's a stew. Hell bent to prove that old cliche. It's gonna come true. So he lived every night like it was his last day. He spoke like a pirate. Take all your money too. Then he turned right around. He said, hey, look what I found. He'd give it all back to you. He said, hey, Jack, I like you, man. You and your boys are better than chocolate cake. <laughs> then he yelled, hey, Suzanne, bring some shots for the band. All that they can take. On tables nailed down to the grounds so that would not fall. And the cops just looked away. It was almost like they'd been paid to make sure the whole town was having a ball. The king of the world's above San Angelo. On top of a Ferris wheel. For ten bucks a ride, you can sit by his side. Tell you everything's nothing. Nothing is real. You get high with the king of San Angelo. Spin so fast that the world stands still. You point above the town and say, hey, the stars don't fall down. They just burn up the atmosphere and spread stardust around. Step right up, it's one hell of a deal. Ride the plane on his Ferris wheel. I forgot to tell you something, so the night he was uh, driving home and he got pulled over by the cops. And he he was fearless. He just said, hey, fuck you. I've only had two. This is shit. And we got him in front of the judge for his fourth DUI. Oh, by the way, he was running for mayor, too. <laughs> then there one. We got him in front of the judge. He said, hey, man, you know, there's a Guinness World Record for consecutive rides on a Ferris wheel. I'm going to bring a Ferris wheel to town. I'm going to get on it. And I'm going to ride that Ferris wheel until I break that record. And I'm going to charge everybody in town to come down. We're going to 10 bucks a ride. 
dumb, we're gonna break that record. I'll give you all the money. You just don't send me to jail. The judge said, hell yeah. <laughs> Lights went blue, round and round, spinning you on the highway. He said, I've only had two. Oh, come on, Blake, tell the truth. That's what you always say. Blaine said, hey man, I'll cop a plea. I'll buy the whole town of service. It's community service. I'll give you all of the money for free. You get high with the king of San Angelo. It's been so fast that the world stands still. Point above the town, say, hey, stars don't fall down. They just burn up the atmosphere and spread stardust around. Step right up, it's one hell of a deal. Ride with Blaine on his Ferris wheel. Let a bar east of Phoenix. I was just about to leave, it was last call. I got a call from a friend. He said Blaine's met his end. That's all. That night I made a promise. I was gonna head out to San Angelo. Gonna kick up my heels. Just like nothing is real And ride with Blaine on his fairs We'll 